Maryland joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. It's the Chicago Bulls facing the Blue Golden Blue. State Warriors. And he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. What a look from Curry. Saw the defense leaning and found the open man with ease. Now here's Jordan. Thompson with the rebound. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. It's Durant on the way. Curry, wide open. Cartwright using his tremendous length to grab the board. Now, Jordan. Score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Yeah, and when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. And it's Green with a sensational play. Green's got his second bucket. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Golden State five. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least first they save the lane. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting for the That's balls. good from Cartwright. Bill Cartwright at the line for two. And both free throws good for Cartwright. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Outside Curry. Right side, Kevin Durant. Offline with his three. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Assist goes to you. wish you could Michael keep Jordan. like Pippen. I mean, I do. Curry with it. Now defended by Grant. Thompson with the bucket. You see that stand? That little flare is letting the other side know they did nothing to stop him. Outside for Jordan. Here's Grant. Uses the glass to Horace finish the lane. With the ball around the hoop, Horace Grant, a tough man to stop. Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. From Stephon Curry. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. A shot by Jordan, no good. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. Here is Paxson after the made shot from Clay Thompson. Green with the block. He's a tremendous defender. Draymond Green all over that shot. To the paint. And it's Green with the jam. And slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He spent a while up on that rim, didn't he? And it's the Warriors on the break. Thompson with the bucket. I mean, a true bucket getter. Clay Thompson just working through the physical defense and keeping his composure. Michael Jordan. Nice step back to get it off. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? We're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. Here's Jordan. Six on the shot clock. No good from Paxson. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. And he gets the bucket. Aggressive, working for the high percentage shot. Draymond understands this game. That's a dream. And Green slams it in. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greg, he lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. And Green slams it in. Draymond has come out here with his eyes on the basket. Gives this offense yet another dimension. Inside, Grant. That's when Paul 
Charles coming off of Paxson speed. John Paxson. Grant's got six. And six foot seven, Draymond's always capable of sky up for slams like that one. Outside Grant. Outside for Jordan. He takes it in. Some aerial skills by Jordan on the double clutch. Yeah, the explosive doesn't even begin to describe it. Jordan simply finds not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. High post try. Offense, the order of the day. For me, it's all about playing downhill. They've been making it look easy to find penetration in this one. Attacking the lanes and forcing the issue with the deep. And something else that's working for them is ball movement. A lot of their points so far have come as a result of smart plays. For three, Paxson. Warriors leading by six. Pass to Green. Outside for Curry. The three ball from Curry. Even if you stay attached to Curry beyond the arc, that might not be enough. He's that good. So with the ball, and Curry picks him up defensively. Here's Grant. That one falls, coming off of Paxson speed. John Paxson. Grant's got eight points. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for the ball. Seven-point differential. Here's Cartwright, outside for Pippen. Outside, Jordan fires from the wing. And it's Durant with the rebound. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. First Very assertive foul. by Steph First Curry. Takes foul. the foul and still gets the shot up. The Warriors shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. We've seen them put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Michael Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. And, and that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. And while we've got him on, I send it over to our terrific reporter, David Olin. David. We all know Achilles' injuries used to be career-ending. Kevin Durant says Dominique Wilkins was one of the first guys who came back and the same. It was a motivation and gave me confidence that I could do the same. Now Wilkins says KD has really taken hold of this from the spokesperson for this injury. So we're passing the torch. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, passing the torch, David. Thank you so much. What you admire about Steph is how intelligent he is, especially when it comes to breaking down defenses. Second team foul. This is his second trip to the free throw line. At the line for two. And both free throws good for Curry. Bulls trail by 12. Down low. Here's Grant. And the dunk by Grant. And you know that level of physicality that Grant brings inside it is awesome to watch. He does a great job with finishing with that power above the rim. Here's Chicago. In the corner, it's Jordan. Pippen outside. Wants to get it to Grant and die. Andre Iguodala comes up with the rebound. It's deflected. Two minutes in the first half. Two minutes. And now the fast break. Grant with the ball. For three, Paxson tries to save it. Jordan with the bucket. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Bulls. And 
you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. Now, here is Jordan following the shot by Kevin Durant. Pass to Thompson. Golden State moving it around. Back to Curry. Six to shoot. Iguodala. Good, and Curry gets the assist. And the Warriors lead by 10. That's what Andre gives you out of the backcourt. Versatility, size, and he competes. He's also a coach out there on the floor. Grant at the elbow. Outside for Pippen. Here's Jordan. Goes up again. Goes up on the wing. And it's out of bounds. They yeah. say it's a nice touch by Pippen. Substitution for your Warriors. Here's Curry. Ten points for him. Chicago foul. And the Warriors Jackson. making a change here. Second personal foul. Third team foul. There's 31 seconds left in the, the first half of basketball. Curry outside. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. That is just pitch-a-perfect form from Stephen Curry. Curry crashes inside. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. And a wide-open look for Jordan. Michael Jordan cans the shot from the wing. Jordan's got six points in the quarter. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what the defense score. It's been all about Your Stephen Warriors. Curry for the Golden State Warriors. Chicago After team. a fantastic quarter, he's sitting on a double-double. And there's nowhere to go but up for him. We come back right after this. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And the sound yeah. dunk by McGee. Oh, he just he punches just that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Jordan. And then slammed in by Jordan. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk no. contest level. John Paxson. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. First team foul. The first free throw is good. Stephen Curry hits them both. And here's Paxson. He has yet to score. Here's Jordan. Pass to Paxson. Jordan deciding where to go with it. Five to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Count that one. Perfect. All right, he's got eight points. Michael Jordan. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys and a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And here are the Warriors now. Warriors leading by 13. Out to KD. The rebound by Grant. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Here's Pippen. Scotty Pippen. And it's Pippen slamming it down. Just punch the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. We love Curry's command of this offense. The ability to pass with either hand. Curry always finds a way. This time inside. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. This is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spear. The resistance is no longer there. Another 
good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, Assistant. I wouldn't expect them to. Michael Jordan. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. On the way is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin. Now, among the changes this year is the NBA is granting coaches a second challenge if their first one is successful. Now, coaches had been hesitant to use their one challenge earlier in games, even when calls seemed pretty clearly to have been missed. The downside to a second challenge, more stoppages, but the league may look at other measures to help keep the game moving. Kevin? Yeah, I like that, DA. A lot of things to consider. Thanks. Thompson, high post. Here's Curry with a three. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Out to West. Let's it go with a three. And Stephen Curry gets the three. Curry's got ten points here in the second half. Even in tight situations, you can depend on Stephen Curry. He does not panic. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Curry is inside. It's hauled in by the bull. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. And it's the Warriors ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run right, right now. Thompson. It gives your offense yet another option when your two guard Clay Thompson can play inside and be physical. Now here's Paxson. Still without a basket. Curry on the wing. There's the three. A basket good off the assist from Durant. Their ability again to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. Now, here's Jordan. Michael Jordan. 16 points for him. And that time, the screener rolls, and Jordan has room to get the shot he wants, makes a good decision to Michael keep Jordan. that one himself. Defensively, a breakdown along the perimeter. Just too slow to rotate. To the middle. Back to Curry. Twenty-three seconds left in the third quarter. Count it, and with that basket, he's now nine of fifteen from the floor. What can you say about Steph Curry? Masterful. Here's Jordan, and the layup's good off the glass. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got eleven points here in just the second half. His team hasn't picked up the slack, but he's doing everything he can do to win this game for them. Outside for Durant. Curry outside. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. And outside, it's up a three, and it's Durant with the rebound. Warriors leading by 22. It's Curry outside. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes it. You know why? Success breeds confidence, and he's certainly been successful from there, time and time again. He gets that one. Curry's got 38 points. Selfless play by Durant. Not trying to do everything by himself out there. Here's Jordan. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle. So a chance at the line for one more. First personal foul. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the race. And so Green will bring it up for the Warriors. And there are the Warriors, and with another 
another bucket. And right now, Draymond is just cooking, immediately firing, having confidence in himself and knowing he can knock that one down. Jordan outside. Moves back up. And that one is off. Good D by Thompson. Here's Curry. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. We know he's comfortable with shooting the three ball, but he's foul. becoming very comfortable inside the paint, drawing fouls, scoring, or getting to the free throw line. Chicago with the ball. Jordan outside. Here's Cartwright. It's rebounded by Golden State. Outside Durant. Back to Curry. A finish off the break. Curry's got 42 in the game. The defense getting real physical with Stephen Curry. He is still able to finish. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. They've taken nothing for granted. You can see they're playing the moment rather than the score. Michael Jordan. The shot's good from Jordan. And keeping his options open, Grant would rather give it away than waste the possession on a poor shot. Curry's shot is good. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. To the inside. Pass to Grant. That's good from 17 feet away. Yes. More than just a low post guy, Grant can also get it done from outside. Got that one up quick. Jordan's got nine points now in the quarter. Oof, that is a tough shot. And it's Curry at the elbow. Action coming off the assist from Katie. Very smooth finish to the finger roll. Here's Jordan. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. And the defining Second trait of foul. the greatest of superstars. Jordan makes Chicago. the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. They needed more from him there. Any point they can get is absolutely critical for them right now. Outside for Curry. Shakes him. And it's blocked by Jordan. And one of the league's most effective shot blockers from that guard position. Jordan can do it State and help ball. defense or Great on the ball. Second personal And ball. let's quickly check Third out the scoring ball. breakdown here for the Warriors. I, I think the mid-range game has been a go-to option for them in this game. And when it's working like it is for them, I see no reason to make a change. And all game long, they, they work the ball inside. It's really worked well for them offensively. Back to Jordan. It's Pippen on the way. Back to Jordan. Just five to shoot. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. Back to Curry. Out to KD. Pippen with the steal. Pass to Paxson. It's Pippen on the wing. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Three. And you got to like that they found something positive here. Something to maybe carry over into the next game. I'm Kevin Harlan with me tonight, former NBA players Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony with David Aldridge joining us courtside. We've got the Boston Celtics and the Chicago Bulls. To the inside, Porzingis, rebound by the Bulls. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. John. And that 
That's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. So the Chicago Bulls are able to put up the first points on the board. Back to White. Lock it six. Got a piece of it. Pippen with it. Picked up by Brown. A pull up. No good from Jordan. And here's Boston. It's a three point game. Back to Holiday. Out to White. Pass to Persingas. Boston needs to get off his shot. Stolen by Pippen. Pass right here from Chicago. Here's Patton. Now Grant. Over Persingas. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. To the right side. And the dunk by Porzingis. Really unacceptable letting Porzingis get that kind of positioning. Once he's established, it's over. Now, here's Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Ball's not loose. So with the ball, and Holiday picks him up defensively. The shot's good from Jordan. Jordan's got his second bucket. And this is how unselfish Pippen can be, wanting to find his teammate. A classic breakdown with the ball, sending it right out of bounds and giving the defense a freebie. From outside the arc, and Boston with the rebound. Pass to White. Outside Tatum. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. Michael, that's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Balls on D. Tatum looking around. Driving to the basket. Solid D there by Carver. And just enough Two athleticism to go along with that powerful base to make him a terrific defender. And they'll keep possession. Back to Jordan. Lays it up in off the pretty assist. Jordan's got six. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Tatum on the wing. Makes it off the glass. Jason Tatum. Knowing it's his responsibility to find open teammates. Hey, nice job setting the table there. Now here's Jordan. He's got six. A jump hook. And it's White with the rebound. Ooh, my rush that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. Celtics trailed by five. Over in the corner, Brown. Nice ball movement by Boston. Side Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Back to Tatum. On the wing run. Pass to Tatum. The shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. Okay, big boy. You like to see Tatum asserting himself on the interior. He's forcing the defense to foul. Jason. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Forty-one seconds left in the first quarter, and stolen by White. Pass to Persingas with the drive, and it's Chicago with the rebound. 
It's Jordan on the wing. Here's Carvart. And Tittum pulls it down. Down low. Mr. Persingas. Second shot opportunity. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for it. And that concludes. We'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by four. Brown outside. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Tillman. Chicago grabs the miss. Here's Jordan. High arcing shot. Comes up empty here. That puts him at three for six. Outside. Over. Here's Tillman. Here's McKaylee. It's stolen. And here we go. The Bulls. Fast break. Here's Jordan. And the Bulls get it back. Here's Pippen. Another shot. Boston. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Horford. Pippen simply put one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. Celtics trail by six. Pass to Horford. Here's Pritchard. Here's Hauser. In the corner, Horford with it. This ball movement by Boston. Here's Pritchard. Right wing. Two on the clock. It's chipped. And he recovers it. And there's the shot clock violation. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Jordan. And the layup is good. Jordan's got the lead up to eight now for Chicago. Yeah, just forcing the issue off. So the great thing about Jordan, he does it while staying under control. And the Celtics with possession here. Here's Pritchard, still without a basket. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Six to shoot. Two minutes. To McGuire from deep three point land, and Pippen pulls it down. He takes it up and lays it in. Got it in close, and unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. They get the rebound. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Pass to McCarlo. Here's Tillman. On the money with the shot from the left block. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. And the jam by Bill Cartwright. I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Poked away. Shot clock at six. Here's Pritchard. And it's Cartwright with the rebound. Outside Pippen. And it's Pippen slamming it down. And keeping his options open, Grant would rather give it away than waste the possession. Cool shot. Master Hauser. Back to Hork. Let's it go with a three. Rebound by Pippen. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Here's Paxson. Cartwright with it. Tillman grabs the miss. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Here's McKaylee. Jordan way outside. And he got that one up in time. Chicago leading by 10. 
And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum says what we talk about before the game, halftime, is win by any cost, by any means. Figure it out, win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin? Still room to grow. David Banks. That one goes in. Pippen's got six. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one... Oh! Jason Tatum. Wow. Mercy. Jason Tatum is a bad man. He gets it in there. Grant. Grant's got his first points of the game. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Back to Grant. To the middle, pass to Pippen. Shoots over Brown, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First personal foul. Bulls shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night, and the first one drops. At the line for Chicago. He's perfect from the line this time. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. It's a 10-point game. Porzingis trying to get free. And that one drops for him. Brown's got four points now in the quarter. I love seeing Brown get it down inside. He's more than just a jump shooter. Scotty Pippen. Celtics trailed by 11. Back to Tatum. This ball movement by Boston. Right side for Zingas. Side white down to five on the shot clock. Here's Tatum, and he overshot that one, missing. The Bulls leading by 11. Here's Cartwright, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Cartwright got eight points. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, Three. good things tend to happen. You gotta respect the range of Holiday if you're to be showing he can hurt you from that area. Offensive rebound. Hurt right. Stolen by Holiday. White, wide open. He fires. Off target with his three. Here's Chicago. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Inside, here's Cartwright, Porzingis with the rebound. Yeah, you, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. There's that leaping ability. Brown, he just gets up so easy. There's a minute 40 left in the third quarter, and it's White with the rebound to the middle, back to Tatum. The kick out to Brown. Outside Tatum. Pass to Persingas. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. Michael. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second personal foul. First team foul. 119 left in the third quarter of the game. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often time than not. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Terrific anticipation by Brown, managing to see the shot coming and get ahead of him. Holiday with it. And the shot goes in from Chris Depps, Porzingis. Assist goes to six points for Porzingis. And you gotta love the big kid in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Here's Jordan. And it's sent back by White. Pass to Holiday. White, good. White. Now just a four point Bulls lead. 
Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. The thing they have to watch for is mental fatigue. They have to stay focused and finish the job. Drew Holiday. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Chris Stapps, the adjustments they made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. But it took them a little while to get there. Just goes to show as long as you persevere, you'll figure your way out. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Horace Grant. And it's 7-3. Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay for the win. Well, as much scoring as Jordan does, the only thing he really cares about is that the team wins. And the dunk by Porzingis. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. The three, Pippen. Another three for Chicago. Practically automatic shot there by Pippen. He knows he just needs the ball. And he And so Brown will bring it up for Boston. Trailing by five. Over in the corner, White. And here's Holiday. Back to White. Looks for Holiday. Gets it to him. Shot clock at five. Here's Tatum. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Side Jordan over Holiday. Porzingis with the steal and stolen by Jordan. Grant up again and Tatum pulls it down. Celtics trail by five. Mr. Porzingis shoots over Grant. Porzingis can't hit. Defense pulled out all the stops and shut him down there. The shot's good from Jordan. You can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. To the inside. Grant gets a wide open look. No good with a triple. And the Celtics with possession here. Seven point differential. For the three. Hits it from three point range. White. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Outside Tatum. Back to White. Down low. And he finishes nice on the way. Assisted and it's seven points for Jared Jason White. Tatum. Intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. And, and the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. That sends Michael Jordan to the free throw line. That's on Jalen Brown. Personal foul. First and taking foul. a quick look here at the hustle stats for Chicago. Great heads-up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. And you also have to applaud how they've been able to create turnovers and then convert those on the offensive end. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. And for three. Good on the triple. And the Bulls lead by ten. Persingas, second chance shot, and he lays it up and in. Persingas has got 10 points in just the second half. Keep getting it to 
this man. I mean, one sport there gets catch his fire. There is no putting that out. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Celtics trail by eight. White, left side. It's to Holiday. Back to White. Zingas with the ball. Outside Tatum. To the paint. Looking to get back on track here. The rebound by Jackson. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. Out to the right wing. Outside Holiday. In with the steal. Yep. NBA action is coming up. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Chicago Bulls. Let's it fly. Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. Oh man, for over 20 years, has it been tough to find anyone that dishes it better than LeBron? No good from Jordan. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Yeah, way to play First an attack move and get to the line. First team foul. Cleveland shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Cleveland. That free throw Irving. good from Kyrie Irving. Two shots. That'd be something else to be a teammate of Irving's. What a generational talent. And here we go with the Bulls. Fast break. Oh. And the dunk by Grant. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. James. And the dunk by James. With a burst of speed, LeBron turning on the Jets, getting past the D, and the big hand. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploding whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. And a seven foot one Bill Cartwright extends for the rebound. It's good on the putback. And that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tip in. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Now here's LeBron. And the dunk by James. Oh, what a nice find by Kyrie that time, balancing his offensive attack. Just about two minutes into the first quarter. And Pippen gets it to go. Great idea to get your secondary scores involved early. This helps keep everybody engaged. Yeah, and he's so so from there, but when he's hitting from deep, it's a big confidence silver. Well, that's why they're in front. Aggressive play at both ends. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. Personal foul. That is his first foul of the first game. Team foul. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total safe. Good luck trying to stop him now. Right wing. Pass to Cartwright. Outside for Pippen. On the arc, throws it from outside. Scotty Pippen. Pippen's got six. Practically automatic shot there by Pippen. He, he knows he just needs the ball, and when he is good to go. Two minutes remaining in the first. Yeah, and I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from range. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the 
deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Upside Grant. Pippen, no luck. That is prototype rebounding right there. He gets the position down low, boxes out, and then crowds. Contact has really never bothered LeBron. In fact, the defender usually gets the worst end of it. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal on the course. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Nice contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Kyrie exceptional at taking the hit and then somehow creating a release Shooting angle towards the rim. Irving. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. They've really attacked off of the turnover, so leaking out, capitalizing on fast breaks. Nice timing there on that catch and shoot. Jordan with such a musical rhythm to his game. Pass to Fry. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And both free throws good for Fry. Bulls trail by eight. Looking around. It's good. Jordan's got seven points. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. It's Jefferson, top of the key. Pass to Della Vidova. Cleveland moving it around. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. Bulls ball. 34 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Pippen. Kicks it up to Jordan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Michael. This if Jordan weren't challenging enough to guard. Uh, the little up fake there, putting the defender at his mercy. And so Jordan nails both of them. The Cavaliers leading by four. James in the post. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's an aggressive defense. Nail from three-point land. He's got 12. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score. Jeez. This is looking like one of those nights. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, what's your take? Uh, well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Kicks it out to Jones. Thompson, left side. Five on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Jordan with the steal. Grant outside. Here's Armstrong. There's the triple. No good that time. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that, and that's a bad miscue, and you can't give up looks like that all game long. Pass to Della Vidova. Love right side. Jordan with some nice deep. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go. Even with the defense not really a factor. Here's Love. The jumper's good from inside six feet. Love's got five. Kevin Love all about positioning in there, battling and finding some space, keeping the play alive with that kind of activity. 
And the dunk oh, by Chris Trent. Going to the Raptors. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. J.R. Smith on the wing. To the paint. Here's Jones. The kick out to Irving. On the wing, Thompson. Smith outside. Shot clock at two. They get it back. They shoot again. And it's awesome. laid up and in by Thompson. Six points for him. Well, that's what Tristan Thompson does best, just working the glass and working the deal. Stu Armstrong. Front pass the arc. Thompson with the rebound. Cleveland leading by three. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's the glass to finish the layup. And it's six points for Kyrie Irving. There's no doubt that Kyrie gets talked about as having some of the best handles in the business, effective at getting wherever he wants to get to on the floor. Jordan double clutches in mid flight And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in Dude, with a sledgehammer. Yeah, well, you tell him for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Love wow. with the bucket. Yeah, Love can hurt you down there. He uses his body as a shield, creates the space, got in tight, finished that one. Here's Armstrong. Three point Good on the three-point shot. BJ Armstrong's got his first three points of the game. Cleveland. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. And Cleveland making a change here. The score now all even. Pippen. Pippen's got eight. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like LeBron no one can guard James. him down low. Assistant oh, an aggressive move Irving. and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that oh, slam, I think. I love the aggressiveness. He's been on fire the entire first half and continues to strike while the iron's hot. James has a two-pointer. Oh, he ran that time before dropping in. LeBron's got four this quarter. There's some fluid motion in LeBron James' jumper tonight. Totally comfortable at the pull-up J. Inside, for right. Grant gets a wide-open look. Another one falls for Chicago. Yeah, th this is what you love about him, the confidence on that mid range. That's a staple of his offensive attack, and proving once again he can do some damage from that area. Back to Jordan. Grant outside. Here's Armstrong. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And keeping his options open, Grant would rather give it away than waste the possession on a poor shot. The kick out to Irving. Bill Cartwright grabs the rebound. The three, Pippen. What a play! He simply drains it in at the buzzer. And a close. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Here's Grant, and the Bulls get it back. The shot comes out, and here's James. He'll bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's a three-point game. Assist from Kyrie, such a blur James. in the open court, leaks out so quickly and then gets to the right spot in the transition. An intentional foul committed, Second but for what purpose, foul. Greg? I'm not Good sure. Of the confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Pippen down low. Scotty Pippen. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely 
off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And they double up James. Oh, and the Bulls tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Oh, and it's the Bulls with the ball. The Bulls leading by three. Pass to Cartwright. Bulls moving the ball around. That one falls. Pippen's got 15 points. This is a big time game for Scotty offensively thus far. He's setting a high bar for the rest of the guys on that end. Down low. And it's Thompson with the jam. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive burden. Here's Jordan. That shot off. Good D by Thompson. The Cavaliers trail by three. To the inside. LeBron outside. James crowbars it in. This is what James does. Scores the ball and does it in so many different ways. Here's Jordan. Driving to the basket. It's stolen. Laid in with a nice touch off the box. 18 points for him. And those were your junior. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Irving. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a five for eight clip. He's such a gifted finisher. Once Kyrie gets inside, he knows he's got you where he wants you. Let's we'll see the action getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. Back to love. Pass to Delavidova. Just five to shoot. Two minutes remaining in the third. Five, both shot, and it's Irving missing. When you are wrapped up that tightly in the mid range, you are better off just moving the ball. Yeah, that's one where you hope if he gets in there the next time, he, he makes a different choice. And the dunk by Love. Kevin Love showing you he's got a little vert getting up to the rim. Pass to Grant. And the rejection by Love. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Grant. And Love's got the ball here for the Cavaliers. Here's Irving. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor of this game. Now six for ten. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Shot's good by Pippen. He's got a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. To the middle. Here's Love. Picks it out to LeBron. Irving looking over the floor. Thompson. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. A good look from Grant. From out of the wing, he knocks it down. Now it's a four-point Bulls lead. And here are the Cavaliers now. Outside Irving. Off target with his three. Here's Armstrong. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's going to be on Kyrie Irving. Second team foul. Chicago shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And so he makes both from the line. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. James with it. He's picked up by Pippen. And the rejection by LeBron. 
That anticipation off the charts. Great job by LeBron to deny that one. So Chicago. The Cavaliers trail by six. Here's Della Vadova. And stolen by Jordan. Pippen with a wide open look. Boy, for a guy 6'8 to move like that, Pippen is so impressive. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats. I like their defense today, and we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. You can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. Something else that has stood out is their up-tempo offense. I mean, these guys have been on the track all game long. They're creating high-percentage looks, getting out there on the fast break. Here's Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. Yeah, just forcing the issue offensively. The, the great thing about Jordan, he does it while staying under control. Here's Love. Kevin. That's him. Love. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Well, it's one thing to play good defense, but then to alter the shot and get the rebound, that's a good day's work. Out to Smith. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Fry. And the shot clock is 24 second violation. violation. Chicago ball. Cavaliers substitution. The Bulls leading by nine. Thompson. Michael Jordan Early. on the wing. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Dunk by Jordan. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. The Cavaliers trail by 11. And Cleveland with another turnover here. Yeah, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Pass to Fry. Here's Jefferson. Jefferson. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Good job getting the ball and completing that play. The defense producing easy looks. It just helps you conserve some energy for late in the game. And here's Armstrong. Car right. He's covered by Thompson. Offensive rebound. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Jefferson. First personal foul. First and that one misses. Foul. Wow. What, what did he have That's something in his eye? Oh, that shot. <laughs> Maybe. And he sinks the second. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Irving for three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Well, you make strides to get back in the ball game, but an errant shot like that can definitely cost you any kind of momentum. You have to use better judgment there. You just can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Cavaliers moving the ball around. Bulls foul. Good. Right. First personal foul. First and we're about three foul. minutes into the fourth quarter. In Here's James. James. He's still up. Now he is nine of ten. And making it look easy. easy. LeBron overwhelmed overwhelming the defense inside. James. Here's Jordan. Count the bucket. And he's got a foot. NBA presentation. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce with us on the sidelines. We'll see the Memphis Grizzlies and the Chicago Bulls. From deep, Jordan sinks it from distance. You know, 
though the three shot is not a go-to shot for MJ, but his touch still undeniable. Aldama outside. Here's Moran. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Second chance points are always paid for. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. That is Rodman. Rodman shot is good. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. From deep, Moran hits the trifecta. Moran's got five now. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep you. He'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Defensive Pretty good display of strength by Jordan there. Absorbed the contact and still able to nail the shot. And it's Morant with the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. It's a five-point game. Pass to Kennard. Back to Morant. Clock at six. It's hauled in by Kerr. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. So I know he's frustrated about that. that. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast play, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. The way Morant sets up his teammates is as good as any guard in this league. zone on the break oh plenty of contact on that shot officials call the foul and he'll take two free throws now i don't mind that i mean they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points old school d right there just telling them no easy layups as simple as that and that's what you expect from them good on both If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here at first. Jordan misses. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Pass to Williams. Oh, it's stolen by Jordan. He's Kerr. The shot goes down. Very good possession right there. How quickly Kerr gets his shot off. An efficient shooter off the pass and... You can't afford to give him any room to shoot it. Morant with the slam! Oh, putting on a show for the fans. Morant's skills making it look like the circus in here. Two minutes. Here's Jordan. And he drives in. Second shot opportunity. And he drops that one in. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Williams, Williams from long range. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Offensive rebound. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. Jordan, good luck. And finally, they hit one. Jordan's got 10. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Well, I'm not sure how that one found the bottom of the net, but hey, you take it when it comes. To the inside. Here's Rodman. That off the charts vertical. Rodman gets up and throws it down easily. Kennard on the wing. And here's Moran outside. Moran. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the heart, and he capitalizes. It's like he's doing pull-ups on the rim. Looked like a schoolyard playground right there. 
He's lucky to get away with that, though, guys. I mean, it could have earned him a technical for hanging on too long. It's scooped up. Morant with it. Jordan picks him up. Tries again. Jackson can't get it to go. Chicago leading. Jordan with the bucket. He's got 12. All too easy for Jordan. Just unfazed by anything the defense throws at him. He's got an answer. Over to the wing. And rejected. And it goes! He gets it! That shot was. You almost had a premonition. And so it's Chicago. 19. Up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. And they push the tempo in this one. Getting out in transition and making the defense pay. Time for a quick break. Then back to the action. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight? Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second-chance touches. And, you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. Driving inside. And slammed up by Jordan. And the high-flying antics of Jordan, simply awesome. Right side, Moran. Chicago foul. Michael Jordan. First personal foul. First team foul. To the paint. Here's Jackson. Oh, a magnificent rejection. Here's Rodman. Give him eight points now. And it's blocked. Here's Pippen. To the wing on the left. And he jams it home with authority. You know, Pippen is about 6'8", but he's got the wingspan of the Condor using that reach to corral that rebound. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Holly. Right a few years back, Parker Smart was talking about how he'd love to follow in Hall of Famer Gary Payton's footsteps as the next guard to win Defensive Player of the Year. He spoke it into existence last year, winning that coveted award. But guys, you watch him play. His actions on the court speak louder than words. No doubt about that, Allie. Thanks. Good stuff there. Just five on the clock to halt the run. Rebound by the Bulls. Pass to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Efficiency personified there. Jordan scoring at will, taking over the game whenever he chooses. And here's Moran outside. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want oh, yeah. in the first half. Able to get that teardrop anytime he wants. Moran has all the shots in his bag. Pass to Rodman. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. Inside. And here's Jordan. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Down low. Here's Kerr. Kennard with the rebound. It's been a devastating night for them. Nothing has come easy, Grant. Nothing indeed. Even when they've tried to make adjustments, it just hasn't worked. Second personal foul. The Bulls on offense. They've got a 13-2 run going. Here's Rodman. And they get it back. The rebound by Jackson. Using his size to full advantage. He beats everyone to the ball. Pass to Moran. Here's Kennard. Rodman with a rebound. 
Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Here's Jordan. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Second chance shot. Now here's Jordan. And stolen by Williams. minute left to play in the first half of basketball. Back to Kennard. Aldama outside. And out of bounds. Oh. It'll be Chicago ball. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Grizzlies substitution. 43 seconds Jackson. left to the first half of basketball. To the middle. Here's Longley. Oh, sweet move. And he sinks the layup. And the Bulls leap by 18. He's got a big body. We know that. But Longley has an underrated skill set, too. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Some room here for Williams. Yes, Williams. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Pass to Pippen. Here's Kerr. Here's Jordan. And Clark with a block. They get it back. And they're able to recover. Boy, tremendous advantage on the offensive boards for Longley there. Easy put back for him. Here's Jackson. He got it up in time, but it would not fall just a bit. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Jackson on the wing. Here's Morant. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The boundless athleticism Morant has is really special. He's someone that is always in attack. Shooting for Memphis. The free throw drops Morant. for Morant. Taking two shots. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Here's Longley. Here's Jordan. Here he goes. That's to Longley. Uncovered. Yes, on the jumper. Jordan's got 25 points in the game. An effective score from the in-between area of the court. Jordan doing his thing. Now here's Clark. And here's Jordan. Stolen by Jackson. Morant with it. He's got 18. Inside. It's tipped. And that's out of, out of bounds. bounds. Memphis will retain it possession. To the Grizzlies. About a minute played here in the second half. Six to shoot. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Pass to Kerr. Over Clark. And there's another one for the Bulls. And it's Moran with the ball for the Grizzlies. Jackson, left side. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Here's Jordan from the wing. And again, it's Chicago. Jordan doing a nice job, leaking out slyly. Excellent in transition. Got a hand on it. We're just about two minutes into the second half now. Here's Longley. Clark grabs the board. And now the Grizzlies on the run. Bulls foul. Luke Longley. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Outside, Williams. Takes the three. No good on the shot. 
Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Well, Longley knows better than to hold back against the defense. He earned himself a trip to the line because he attacked. And that's good as he hits both shots. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Ryan, the Grizzlies are one of the younger teams in the league, and they're already a force to be reckoned with. Desmond Bain said, quote, we have a great organization here that really believes in all of us, and that does a lot for players and their development. We're really focused on just playing to our standards and continuing to grow. B.A.? That's a great point. Good perspective. Thanks, Alec. Pass to Moran. To get back on track. And the layup is good. Morant's got 20. And tearing them to shreds tonight. You know, when a player as versatile as Morant starts going on, look out. Ooh, that's a tough spot to be in as a defender. With that height disadvantage, it's very hard to protect the rim. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Well, that was clearly a foul. Personal yeah, he took a shot there. Earned Jean those free throws. No good on the second free throw. You know, there's so much that's amazing to me about Jordan, but his endurance stands out. He consistently gets stronger, it seems, as the game goes on. Here's the three. And another miss by Memphis. Defense dodged the bullet that time. Total breakdown. Pippen. Shot from the low post is good. Pippen's got six points. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and haven't slowed down yet. Now here's Jordan. Give him 35. From the top of the key. And the Bulls tack on two more. That's a heads-up play by Kerr, finding the open man and getting him the ball on time and on target. Well done. From deep, Moran. It's hauled in by the Bulls. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over-anxious. It seems like 